Hi everybody, my name is Laura Grove and I'm going to show you some useful ways that you can refinance your car in less than five minutes. If you're looking for some extra cash and you see the ad on TV, refinance your car and save money, or just lower your monthly payment by extending the length of your loan. Question is, is it really a good idea? Before you refinance, it's important to understand that a positive tool like refinancing can be used in short-sighted and reckless ways. Refinancing involves transferring your car's title, official ownership, from one creditor to another. The assumption when you sign up for a car loan is that's it, but as long as you're still paying for your car loan, you can refinance it. If your credit score improves, even by just 50 points, you should refinance the auto loan. Likewise, if your interest rates were high when you purchased your car, but have since come down, Refinancing is a prudent option. Even if it would only reduce your annual interest payments by around 1%, refinancing is worth a look. To find a better rate, though, you'll need to shop around. There are plenty of websites that can help. LendingTree.com, eLoan.com, Bankrate.com, and Credit.com are all good places to shop for rates. Capital One Auto Finance is also one of the biggest online lenders with attractive rates for qualified borrowers. If you're approved for refinancing, the process itself is fairly simple. You get a check from your new lender, which you use to pay off the old loan. From there, you start paying your new lender monthly. The potential advantages of refinancing are twofold. It can reduce your monthly payments and lower the overall cost of your car. For instance, say you're two years into paying off a $35,000 car that you originally financed using a six-year loan at an 8.5% interest, which is around $6.22 a month. The table here shows what you'll pay if you continue with that same loan versus refinancing the final four years of the loan at 5.5%. Another refinancing strategy, if you can afford it, is to secure a lower interest rate and its resulting lower monthly payments, but keep paying the same amount you were paying before. What that will do is effectively shorten your loan because your total finance cost would have been reduced when you refinance at a lower interest rate. For instance, using the example above, if you continued to pay $622 a month after refinancing the loan, you would have your car paid off after about 45 months rather than 48 months. Of course, there are also borrowers who will seek to lower their monthly payments when refinancing. This can be done by lengthening the loan term for the vehicle and could be an acceptable compromise for someone who needs to cut their monthly payments in order to keep their car. It is not, however, for people looking to save money in the long run because it increases the overall cost of the loan. In general, it's best to refinance toward the beginning of a car loan, not the end, because the beginning is when you're paying the most interest. Another refinance option is using a home equity line of credit over auto refinancing. This could give you a lower monthly payment than refinancing because it's a longer term loan, usually 10 to 15 years, while vehicle refinancing is usually structured in two year to four year periods. Home equity loans are a smart option if you're financially responsible because rates are good and the interest you pay is tax deductible. But it's important to understand that refinancing your car through a home equity loan secures your auto loan with your home, so if you stop making payments on your auto loan, you may risk losing your home. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you learned some useful ways on how to refinance your car. Have a great day.